Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. Oh, I'm so thirsty. Let me drink something before we start oh, our interview. Yes. <laughs> I love it. Shading that plastic children. And yeah, it's going to be great. That was great. <laughs> that was the best Thank opening. You. Thank you. That oh, I'm so great. thirsty. Thank you. I had to pull that out. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. Welcome back for season three. I, like many others, are super excited. Claudia, beginning with you for, for Victoria, my goodness, the last season ended with a splash and we learned some new things. How deep is the rabbit hole going to go with her in season three? My God. I mean, I know. <laughs> um, um, we, in season three, we definitely get to get a nice hearty look into Victoria Newman's personal life and um, and that whole world and how that operates and who's a part of it, which is very interesting. Uh, she also has a, a very a very interesting journey with um, control because she's a character who's primarily seems like she's in control. She's a very strategic person. She's very duplicitous and manipulative to the people around her. And she's kind of thrown into a gauntlet of sorts where she has to make some desperate decisions and she makes them. <laughs> I think and everyone has, that has been so <laughs> satisfying about this show and these yeah. characters is the, the duality of them, the layers of them. There's no good, there's no bad. Everybody wades in the gray. Chase for you for the deep, he's coming off of this redemption tour. He's making amends. He's trying to be better. Is he really better? <laughs> Is he no, really no, he's not. It's all a farce. I mean, he <laughs> he wants to be, you know, but he just can't. He just can't get it right. I mean, it's uh, I do think there's a part of him that, that does want to be, but it really he's unself aware, and it's always from a selfish place, you know. Uh, clearly, I mean, he just wants to. Once he gets what he what he wants and, and is back to sort of where where he wants to be, it's oh, it's all like, you know, fuck you guys. So he, uh, yeah, he's he's um. You know, it's that faux contrition and sort of like, I'll just put the words in my mouth. I'll say the right things or whatever to, to sweep it under the rug. So uh, that's that's sort of the, you know, where he's coming from. For sure. And lastly, Claudia, Victoria is going to join a new team. Is that a good, is it, is it going to be satisfying for her or is it a little gamesmanship? I know you can't answer, but we're going <laughs> to pretend you're going to answer. As Claudia, I'm terrified for her. <laughs> Claudia, the actress, I'm terrified for her uh, because of the uh, the 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 people, um, the sphere of people that she finds herself in uh, at the end of season three. Can you just put in this interview? Deep exhale. Deep <laughs> Claudia exhale. Just a, Claudia just takes a deep exhale. Exhales in. Um, in purple stuff. That's what yeah. it's going to be. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, you guys are awesome. I'm so happy you're back for season three and many more. Thank you for your time and have an Thank awesome, you. awesome Thank season. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, much. Deandra. See ya. Take care. Thanks, guys. Welcome Hello. back. Hi. I'm so excited to see the two of you in this season for everyone else. Uh, beginning with last season, last season ended with a splash <laughs> across the board in every sense of the word. Aaron, Aaron, for mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. Starlight is finding her her every season. She learns more and more about herself, what her mm -hmm. vision is for her life. What what are you most proud of when you look at how we began and when we first mm -hmm. met Starlight to now going into a new season? Um, what I'm most proud of is the fact that she has adapted to this world that you know adapted relatively quickly to a world that is the total opposite of what she expected and what she wanted and she's she really worked her entire life up until the moment of getting into the seven only to learn that Vought is evil and corrupt and encompasses everything that she wants to fight against so you learn that you learn that your mom has been lying to you about your childhood, about your father abandoning you. And that's a lot to take on. And she learns it. She adapts to this new corrupt world relatively quickly. And um, I think, you know, she goes through that sexual abuse moment mm -hmm. in season one. And what that foreshadows is that every adversity that she comes across 
she learns a lesson from and it only strengthens her and um, kind of lights a fire behind her ass in terms of accomplishing what she wants to accomplish. So um, she's really stuck to her guns in, ter in terms of her goals. And I'm just proud of these past two seasons, her integrating the world that she's around so that she can try and figure out the best way to accomplish her goals. And then in season three, she really clarifies that, clarifies her identity and really steps into herself and her, into her confident, confidence. Mm -hmm. I like how you say that, clarifying your identity, because I think about mm -hmm. that too with uh, Homelander. And so for over to you, Anthony, absolute, we know absolute power corrupts absolutely. That's how the thing goes. So they say. <laughs> Yeah, mm -hmm. Home, mm -hmm. Homelander, he's, you know, the same type of thing. The more he gets to know himself and his roots and beginnings, he kind of goes in opposite directions and we see different layers of him. Is, yeah. is this knowledge of self good for him or were we safer when, it, when he really didn't have any? Yeah, I think it's a very superficial knowledge of self that mm -hmm. we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's, you know, it's a, it, the knowledge, I think what you mean, the knowledge of self that he discovers in season three is a knowledge of self in relation to how he can get attention externally. So mm -hmm. I, 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 you know, the, the character is basically a, a string of contradictions. <laughs> He's like literally just one big contradiction. Uh, so no, it's not a good thing for the world that he discovers that uh, by just being the real him or that version of him, I don't think it is necessarily the real him, but it is a version of him that he learns, mm -hmm. you know, if he blows up and tells the truth about his frustrations and his, because um, he's the ultimate victim, really. If, he's, if, he, if he bitches and sticks up for himself and whines about how oppressed he is and, you know, how everyone's wronged him, people respond because there's a bunch of people out there in, in the world that feel the same way. They have the same grievances and the same problems with uh, the, the elite and the people in control. So it's a sort of an emancipation in a sense, but ultimately it's, it's still that part of him is still a slave to the same master, which is the attention of others mm. still trying to get eyeballs. So, so it's not really the real him. And I think the real him we see, the closest we get to the real him is uh, this season. We're allowed to spoil. I've forgotten. Yeah. Well, we will. We'll. We'll. We'll wrap it there. We'll. Yeah. Did this season. I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap that there. But yeah. there is a yeah. moment this season when we do get to see what I would call the closest version of the real him that mm. we've ever seen in the show. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put a dot 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 in post. Yeah. <laughs> thank yeah, you guys so excited for you guys thank to be you. back love it and i appreciate your time thank you so much thank, thank, you. thank you take care better shake your booties for black girl nerds